Hello, in this video we have this exponential equation. We have 1 to the power of x to the power of 2 divided by 8 to the power of x and this equals 61. We are going to solve for the value of x that will satisfy this equation. Now, let's copy what we have here at the numerator. If you have 1 to the power of x to the power of 2, this simply equals 1. Because irrespective of the value of x, ranging from 0 till any number, irrespective of the value of x that you are going to insert here, you are still going to have 1. So 1 equals 1. That means the new equation will become, we are going to have 1 divided by 8 to the power of x, and this equals 61. So the next thing we are going to do is we can as well cross multiply. This is divided by 1. So if we cross multiply, we are going to have 8 to the power of x times 61 equals 1. That is 1 times 1, that is 1. Now from here, we divide each part of this equation by 61. 61 here will eliminate 61. So we have a to the power of x equals 1 divided by 61. Now we need to solve this equation in order to find the value of x. So let's recopy it here. We have a to the power of x equals 1 divided by 61. Now, we can rewrite this 8 to the power of x as, let's have it as 2 to the power of 3, that is 8, all to the power of x, and this equals 1 divided by 61. Now, we make use of this identity. If you have a to the power of n, all to the power of m, this equals a to the power of n times m. So if we multiply this out, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3x. This equals 1 divided by 61. So now we have 3x here. And we can solve for x here. The next thing we can do is to introduce log. We have log of 2 to the power of 3x. And this equals log of 1 divided by 61. Now, if you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log of a. So, in this same way, that means this 3x we have here at the exponent will come behind this log. So, we are going to have 3x times log of 2 equals log of 1 divided by 61. Now, if you have log of a divided by b, this equals log of a minus log of b. So that means we are going to apply this identity right here. And we are going to have 3x times log of 2. This equals log of 1 minus log of 61. So from here, we can divide each part of this equation by log of 2. We have log of 2 here. This log of 2 will cancel log of 2. We have 3x equals log of 1 minus log of 61 divided by log of 2. Now for us to solve for x here, we divide it again by 3. And if you divide it by 3, you are going to have 3 log of 2 here. So 3 will cancel 3. We have x equals log of 1 minus log of 61 divided by 3 times log of 2. So now, 
Let's make use of our calculator. The value of log of 1 equals 0. The value of log of 61 equals, we are going to have 1.7853 into 4 decimal places. And if you have 3 times log of 2, the value becomes 0 0.9031 into four decimal places as well. So let's insert these values here for x. So we have x equals log of one. We have zero minus log of 61, 1.7853 divided by three log of two. We have 0 0.90 we have 3, 1. So from here we have x equals 0 minus 1.7853. We are going to have negative 1.7853 divided by 0 0.9031. So from here, if you divide this, you are going to have x equals we are going to have negative 1.9769. This is an approximate value and in four decimal places. So this becomes the value of x that will satisfy that equation. Now let's go ahead and check if this value will truly satisfy the equation. Remember we had 1 to the power of x to the power of 2 divided by 8 to the power of x and this equals 61 and from here this is the value of our x so that means we are going to have 1 to the power of we have negative 1.9769 to the power of 2 divided by 8 to the power of negative 1.9769 and this equals 61. So we are going to find if this will give us 61, an approximate value of 61. So if you take the square of this and 1 to the power of that number, you are going to have 1, definitely. So that means you are going to have 1 divided by 8 to the power of, definitely there's a negative sign here, negative 1.9769, and this equals 61. So, if you insert this into your calculator, if you type in this, you are going to have an approximate value of 61. And this is approximately equals to 61. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.